This is your Wildcat Welcome for Tuesday, June 1st. The start of a new month. I know. And we don't have any birthdays today on June 1st. However, check out the end of our announcements because we're going to celebrate all of the June birthdays this summer. Oh, well, then let's do a big, like, happy birthday shout out. Okay, let's do it. Ready? <gasps> Lovely, lovely. I know, and that list is long, so check it out. You know, it's mm -hmm. like they get an extra present just by having their birthday in the summer. I know, you don't even have to go to school on your birthday. <laughs> There's our gift to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, well, it's your favorite day. It is my favorite day. I just love a good affirmation on I, Tuesdays. I know you do, mm -hmm. and here's what I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be amazing if we could end our year by going back to the very first affirmation that we started with of I am somebody. I think that's a great way to end our year. That's what I was thinking yep. because what I've noticed is all of these learners are somebody. They are. Everybody is somebody. All right. So are we ready for this? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am capable and lovable. I am capable and lovable. I am teachable. I am teachable. And therefore, I can learn. And therefore, I can learn. I can do anything when I try. I can do anything when I try. I'll be the best I can be. I'll be the best I can be. Each day. 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 I will not waste time. I will not waste time. Because it's too valuable. Because it's too valuable. And I'm too precious and bright. And I'm too precious and bright. I am somebody. 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 My heart is full, my bucket is full, and I'm I'm ready to to end the year on a very positive note. I know, and you know, we've been talking about growth mindset, and I feel like this totally gets to growth mindset. Like, you're capable, you're lovable, you're precious, mm -hmm. you're bright. Mm -hmm. You are somebody. You are somebody. I love, love it. it. What a beautiful saying. What a beautiful saying. Hey. Yeah. Today is such an important day. Oh, well, tell me what today is. Today's national day is say something nice. Oh, how wonderful that it goes with our affirmations. You could say affirmations of positivity to others. I know. <gasps> Love it. I know. And I just, this whole national day gets me back to how the other day we did an activity with a class. Mm -hmm. And where they, the focus of the activity that you and Miss Martin guided them through was saying something positive and kind to somebody. Yes. And now there's a national day for that. I know. And one of the biggest things that came out of that is asking them, how do you feel when somebody says something nice to you? Mm. And overwhelmingly, people were saying how happy they were, how excited they were, how ready to start their day. Like, it's a nice thing to say something nice. It is. So you know what my hope and dream is with Tell this me. day? My hope and dream for this day is that the practice of saying something nice on this day continues into all the tomorrows. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I hope that too. I mean, the purpose of this holiday is to really counteract those negative, mean words mm -hmm. that, and just that common courtesy that, that seems to sometimes be growing in the world today. So I hope that but today's practices just kind of seep into the rest of our days. That would be so wonderful, wouldn't it? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yep. Well, it's that important time in our announcements where we pause and we grow our brain and learn about black history. What do we get to learn? Today we are learning about Jane Bolin. Jane Bolin is the first African-American female judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was also the first black woman to receive a law degree from Yale. Wow. The first black woman to work with the New York City Corporation Counsel's Office and the first black woman to be admitted to the Bar Association of New York City. Wow. A lot of firsts. That is a ton of firsts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a ton of firsts. And she also did do, after she retired as a lawyer, she uh, worked in the New York public schools um, as an educator. What? I know. 
That's pretty amazing. This is, she's the mm -hmm. definition of scholar. Scholar, mm -hmm. definitely a yep. scholar. Yep. I love it. Well, thanks for teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, I miss Beam. And I miss Rush Hour. Make it a terrific Tuesday. And we'll see you at our next Wildcat Welcome.